Hi there, I'm bringing the word of God to you this hour, speaking to you about the things that God is about to unfold in your life and in mine. I'm talking about obstacles that need to be uprooted. God's word says something. He says, whatsoever my father has not planted, Jesus said, it shall be uprooted. He had the story where talking about in Joshua chapter 6, the children of Israel, they have been wandering around for 40 years, 40 years in the wilderness. Maybe you two have wandered around the wilderness, the desert, things have not really been lining up the way you want them to be. That was the situation with the children of Israel. They were tired, they were wearied, they were desperate. And it was just the last leg for their journey. And the scripture said they came across this obstacle. They could see the dreams afar off. They could see the promise. They could smell it. But there was this obstacle. Obstacles that need to go down. I'm speaking to some of you today. You have some obstacles in your life that you cannot even explain. Some obstacles are older than you. Before you were born, they have been there in your life. Like a limitation. Something that set a barrier on you. As you move forward, that thing is pulling you back. It's called obstacle. Some demonic obstacles, generational obstacles that stand our way. Hear what God told the people of Israel. He knew they could not bring it down by themselves. He knew the, the, the people of Jericho were so confident that nobody can penetrate our wall. It was so thick and it was almost impossible. But there is nothing that can resist the power of God. That's why we trust in God that in this month of November, when we're going to do our Mountain Movers Conference, God will deal with every wall that no matter how strong, how long they have been there. So God told uh, the people of Israel that I'm going to give you a strategy. I am going to bring down the wall by myself. But you need to cooperate. You need to follow the leader. So the Bible says he asked them to, to, to march around the, uh, the city once every day. And they were to do that seven times on the seventh day. And the scripture said in verse 20, So the people shouted when the priest blew with trumpets. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. The wall will come down by the power of the Almighty God. But I want to say to you that there are powers behind the world that has to be dealt with. The world you are fighting, you are facing, they may not just be physical. They may not just be things you can explain. The barriers that sit on you, the, the restraint around your destiny, they are not physical. The Bible says they, 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 we, we have a weapon that is mighty through God to pull in the stronghold, casting down imaginations forces of hell that gather against us. I have this word for you. As we prepare ourselves, as we get ourselves ready, they will be uprooted. Uprooted. Because God did not plant them. So I want you to mark your calendar. November 20 to 24th. We have uh, Bishop Mark Jones coming in, Apostle Tom coming in, and we have uh, uh, ministers in music, we have people who are going to be praying. This is going to be a very good time. We're going to pray, believing God for seven kinds of world that's going to fall down. I will tell you about that later on. Seven kinds of world that God is going to pull down during this particular service and program. So make it a date. Prepare yourself. Remove obstacles, hindrances. Take those things out of your path. Invite friends. Consecrate yourself. Make time available because the power of God will come into operation on your behalf. The strategy to bring down the world may not be the ones you know. See, it may not be the myth, the method, the, the typical method that we used to fight. God says, I will give you the victory. But it's going to be by spiritual strategy, by the divine method. As, as you hear this today, I want you to agree with me and I want to pray with you that whatever world that's confronting your life in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, they will come down. The power of God will touch you right now. It could be a wall of sickness around you. I decree and I declare they will fall and collapse before you. You must make progress. You will move forward. You will accomplish your destiny because the worlds are coming down. In Jesus' name, God bless you.